Hello, my name is James Shirev Charlio. I am a Christian man, and this is my true life story. You Americans saved my life from tyranny. Thank you. Hello, Go shalom, salam alaikum, marhaba. Hello, I am Jamshid Afshar, Leo, J A M S H I D, last name Afshar, A F S H A R. I am in Nevada, Las Vegas with Papa Don, putting this tape together for you. The story is about my life story. I am 51 years old, I think. Born in Iran at 1961, August 8. The reason Mr. Don is making this tape because I survived through Iraq war for two years. I was in Baghdad, Basra, Kurdistan, and Iran and Israel war. I was a commander for U.S. Army in Iran, but no one knew it. I worked for American Embassy and I helped the hostages, American U.S. hostages, to leave Iran safe. I was at the scene. I was only 14 years old at 1979. Soon I might become somebody important in Persia because he's the only Iranian kid who you Christians and Americans have raised. I worked for V Hospital since I was four years old because my head was broken and United Nations and Red Cross, the American Navy and US Army find me bleeding to death with no refuge. A soldier carried me to a VA hospital and paid for everything and they fixed my head. And I survived. You, American, have saved my life. Therefore, my life must be to save your life right now. What is the danger, Americans? Right now, you Americans, which a Christian nation you are, you are in danger of a religion called Islam. When I was in Iran, 35 years ago, I finished my high school. The high school you Americans give it to us. You Christians like Germans and Japanese give it to us. You guys give us vaccine against diseases. Of 91 million Iranian kids, I am the only one survived and the kids who were in school with us which you people, God's people, brought it to us. U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, U.S.A. Marines, and U.S. Army Reserve carried sacks of rice in their shoulder and feed us. Sorry for saying that even a dog don't bite the hand who feeds. At 1979, I finished my high school. At 1979, I finished my high school. Here, it was a guy showed up, he said his name is Khomeini, and Iran needed to be a Muslim country. But my grandmother, from mom's side, she's a Catholic. And I had a cross, this wooden cross, my poor mother gave it to me. She said, hide this Leo, because if people see this, they will kill us. Because they Christian, they kill the Christians. Here, I couldn't say anything because I was working for a rabbi. My dad's mom was a Jew. And here everybody was looking either for a Jew to kill him or for a Christian. And they asked me, what is your religion? I told them, I'm just a kid. They, they said, if you don't admit you are a Muslim, we kill everybody. I said, oh, sure, what is Islam? They told me Islam comes from Spain and Mexicans like Mexican countries, Mayan countries, and the book we have is not a Bible or Torah, it's called Holy Quran. I said, what is Holy Quran? They said, Leo, little Leo, F. Sure. Quran came to, to this planet 1,400 years ago. 
he speaks in Arabic language and writing. There was a prophet named Muhammad, and he was an orphan kid. Two angels showed up and gave them the book. And I told, I wanted to tell him to me. My mother said, Mother Mary, Mother Maryam is the Mother God because I'm a Catholic. But I remember my grandmother said, Leo, little Leo, don't repeat. We are Catholic, or Mother Maryam is a God. They will kill us. Here my head was like remembering the Vietnam movies and the Hitler hanging the poor rabbi. I believe my grandmother. I didn't know what to say. All of a sudden something explodes. I look back, it was 1979, September, I think. They said, Iraqis, some crazy guy, excuse my rudeness again. I don't say a bad word, honest to Jesus Christ. There's a Saddam Hussein guy with a Russian plane, he's bombing Iran. He says, we are allies of Americans and we have to die now. They, they bombed the whole Iran. I looked, I said, why? They said, we are allies of Americans. Amer you Americans are on the other side of the ocean. Then I remember the F-14, F-18, and the guns from Vietnam you gave it to us. They think we work for you Americans, but we were we are just a bunch of homeless people. You Americans give us the guns and phantoms to defend ourselves one day. Here... The TV said, mm -hmm. which was just the cafeteria had a TV. My family is homeless. Every Iranian is homeless. If you see one Iranian with a blade bursting his pants or Cadillac probably is stealing from you. How could we be rich while you American don't got nothing? That's what now Iranians they wanted to kill me when I said that. What I did, I looked at the TV, he said Saddam Hussein is attacking Iran. And he's taking revenge because we're helping President Bush. I said, okay, what should we do? They said, we need a soldier. And I just looked at my mom. She was standing beside me. We just eating bread and cheese. And she works for Red Cross VA Hospital. And I said, mom, I think I need to go to the military base and be a soldier to defend the country. Because they say they're killing everybody in the borders. She said, may God be with you, my son. You are the only son I got. God help you. I give my mom a kiss and say, Shalom and adios. I might be dead, mom, but at least I did something for the country. Here I walked. As I was walking to the military base, I couldn't get on the bus because of the people were killing each other, burning every city buses, breaking the bank windows. It was called like a dark Friday 13 or, or black souls. Believe me or not, it was the Friday these things was happening, and I remember that Friday 13th movie with Jason, and John Wayne shooting the Jason, and Freddy Cougar, and Chucky Doll. I looked at it, so I said, God, it looked like Friday the darkness. All these people are getting shot, and I look who's shooting at them. It was the soldiers, Iranian soldiers. It was a Kid, his name was Muhammad Rizal Pahlavi. He was saying he's the son of God and the Antichrist. He was like a person of Iran. He called himself Shah. We said, what does mean Shah? He said, like, Shalom, I am the voice of God. I said, this guy is on crack. But he couldn't say anything because my dad was working for him. He was a sergeant. Here the soldiers killed everybody except me. That was one thing I remember thinking. God gives life. God takes the life. But here, my dad being a sergeant, he helped too. Probably I owe my dad a couple of dollars. I worked, washed some dishes, I give my dad five dollar US money. He said, why are you give me this money? I said, the soldiers just killing everybody by American embassy and they didn't shoot me. They said, your dad is one of us. Then all of a sudden I remember, uh oh, my dad is one of us. Now I'm dead because people are dead and my dad works for the guys who killed these people. I didn't know what to do. I walked farther down. I saw a bunch of hoodlums beating the American soldiers and American people in the place. It says, I couldn't read much English. I looked. I put my reading glass on. My grandma gave it to me. It says, U.S. Embassy. American place. I said, I'm dead. They're killing all these Americans and I work for the U.S. Embassy because of my head was broken when I was a kid. I didn't know why, what I'm doing in that location. I forgot all these gunshots. Then I remember I got to go pick up the garbage for an American Embassy. I worked there. They give me $4 a day. 
When I went, tried to go to American Embassy, there was a like a bar, long bar, like a zoo, where you keep the animals and monkeys and stuff. The people they say, "Hey, kid, why are you going in there?" I wouldn't say I work there, but I really, I'm gonna be dead again. I said, "I'm just picking up a garbage, sir. Please don't shoot me." They feel sorry for me. They said, "Go ahead, kid. They tricked me." <laughs> I had the keys for the embassy. I opened the gate, they came in, they beat the hell out of everybody. They find a lady, nine years old, with a hunch. Hunchback, sorry, excuse my rudeness. They broke her back, and she was a straight. And before she falls, she said, I asked God to fix my back. I didn't know God kills me for requesting anything. I didn't know what to say. All I said, please don't kill the American soldiers. They said, poor soldiers. They said, are you a soldier? And I couldn't tell them, I just signed in for the being a soldier. I said, yes, sir. And they handcuffed me. I went to a prison. It was a bunch of homeless people. This Aryan American soldier said, no, sir. I'm just a kid finished my high school. I got to go to war. They said, what war? I said, TV said, some crazy dude, his name is Saddam Hussein. He's killing everybody. Like Vietnam movies. This, And I realized nobody has TV in Iran. We all are poor. We didn't even have a vacuum or even a bathroom, drinking water, nothing. Everything we had, you Americans give it to us. It saved that. Then I said, thank you, American, for saving my life. I forgot everybody's listening. They want to let me go now here. I had to go to jail again because I said, thank you, Americans, for saving my life. I said, that's the third time, fourth time God saved my life. It had to be the rabbi. I go kiss his hand and say, thank you. Here I was a moron, so stupid, sorry, and I walk, and I walk 18 miles, and I knock the Seneca doors. Seneca is a place the Jews are there. Here the rabbi opened the door and said, Sir, Shalom, Baba Jun. He said, Shalom, what do you need, little Leo? I said, I just want to kiss your hand and say, thank you for saving my life. My grandmother, she always said, be thankful. Here the people said, you guys are Jew. You know the rabbi, let's go to jail again. We went to jail again, me and the rabbi, 41 days. 